why a narcissist might block you. And if you've ever had that happen, many reasons why they might do this and what it kind of feels like for you. So somebody asked the question, they said, why would this narcissistic person who has been so horrible to me block me when I'm the one that should be blocking them? And when I did block them, why did they block me? You know, so so there's lots of reasons that they might block you. First of all, um, it's a way to devalue you. If a narcissist blocks you, it's basically like diminishing your importance, right? It makes you seem like, well, you're nothing. And so you're blocked. It is a punishment like the silent treatment. So they might block you to make you feel like you're being punished, make you feel if they know that if they make you feel like you are in trouble, you're being punished, you're um, not, um, you're not in, in their, in their, what is it, like on their good side, so to speak, that you will then pursue them and give them supply. When you do that, we come to the next point, it makes you look like you're stalking them. It makes you look crazy. If they can make you look crazy to the public and to anyone that they talk to, spin the story so that you look like the one who's got a problem and they look innocent when they've been the one manipulating you and hurting you all along. Okay. They want to make you feel worthless sometimes in the devalue. Like you just don't have any importance whatsoever. And so block, right? Another reason they might block is to play the victim. They might block you to, um, look completely innocent when in fact they should be taking accountability for something, especially if they know that they should be taking accountability for something. Um, in the instance of something where they've gone too far, they've pushed things too far. They've said things that is too much. They've gone, they've done something where they could be publicly called for some called out for something. They have gotten physical with you. They have, um, gotten caught red handed doing something like cheating, lying, stealing, whatever they're doing to you. Um, they know, they know that it, that, that this, from this point forward, they have to be accountable for what they've done. They won't be accountable. So oftentimes, or sometimes they might block you to play victim to say, see, I had to, I had to state, like, say they got physical with someone or they, um, got completely, um, out of their minds screaming and yelling at someone. And they know that, they could be called on that behavior by friends, family, coworkers, whatever, if that came out. They are preemptively making us a they're the victim. I had to block her. She got crazy. I had to block him. He got crazy, whatever. Right. And oh, well, I heard that you, you know, you were screaming in their face. And that's why that's what happened. Ugh. You'd scream in their face too if you had someone crazy like that coming after you. I mean, it was so bad I had to block them. That's how they make it seem. So they get to be the victim in everybody else's eyes by blocking you. Okay. Another one is um, they're just ignoring you back. They're ignoring you back like tit for tat sort of behavior. Oh, you're going to block me? Well, then I'm going to block you. You don't like me? Fine. I won't like you. I'm not, you know, it's childish retaliation. Okay. Another reason that they might block you is um, they can use another means to hoover you that way. If they're blocked, if, if the, you are blocked so that you can't contact them and then they send in flying monkeys, it's not their fault. They didn't have anything to do with it. I have you blocked, right? But it's a way to keep the, to make it a, a perceived image of distance and uh, not wanting to have any contact with you when in fact they're going to send in other people to do their bidding. So there's another reason. Um, they could be gaslighting and confusing by turning the table. So say you block them and they block you or they block you first. So they block you and let you know somehow that you're blocked by having someone tell you, oh, they've blocked you, you know, sending people in to let you know. That is to confuse and again, make it look like they had to do it or it, it, to twist to twist it so that you are somehow responsible for this block. Okay. Um, 
if they have blocked you, oftentimes it's because they've received a narcissistic injury. All right. And when a narcissist receives a narcissistic injury, that's when they're forced to look in the mirror, when they have to look in the mirror and face themselves. They lash out at everyone around them. They lash out at the people that they can blame. If you are in any way in their sphere of influence at that point in time, you may get blocked. I mean, it, 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 here's the thing. Yay, they blocked you, right? Let them go. Good riddance. Goodbye. Block them back and move on, right? Get over these trauma bonds. Heal yourself. All the good stuff comes after this. However, this can be the thing that creates it so you can't feel the feeling of closure because why the heck would they block you, right? You're the one that should be blocking them. And a lot of people, when they have this happen, have told me things like, well, now I can't let it go. Now I feel like there's some loose end out there, something open, some some something I did, you know, or something that they've made me feel like I'm the problem by blocking me. So you see, there's all these reasons that they do this, which have nothing to do with you. It has to do with the narcissist trying to get away with it, trying to twist things, confuse things, manipulate things. Okay. So if they have a narcissistic injury, and like I said, that's when they do something that goes past and beyond often things that they normally do because of their ego, because they don't have empathy, because they don't really care what other people feel. They only care what people think about them. They have to protect themselves and block that person so that it looks like there was justifiable means for doing what they did in the first place. But at the same time, they also know that they, that there is especially if, if the person uh, tells them off <laughs> and tells them what they are and what's going on and like forces them to look in the mirror. How dare you do that to me? You know, you've, you've done this, you've done that. You're an abusive person. You're a narcissist, whatever. When, when we say these things and it gets in, the reason it would sink in in a situation like that is because they did something beyond the normal. Does that make sense? So if they've gone beyond the normal manipulation and things that they do and then they're confronted with it and they're forced to look in the mirror and this narcissistic injury happens, they start lashing out. Okay. And that they can get dangerous. Then they can get self-destructive. They can get destructive. And one thing they might do is block. So, okay. Another thing that they reason that they might block you is to make you wonder, why did they block me? What did I do? Why? I'm the one who should block them. Why did they do this? If you're sitting there spinning your wheels about them, what are you given? Supply. You're given supply. You're giving attention and you're engaging in the relationship with them even long after it's over because you've been blocked. And that's the only reason that you're engaging. If if you could block them and walk away, you know, it makes the, in the order that makes sense, right? They also often feel justified. They really do feel like you're the one that's the problem. And you're just going to be a pain in the butt. So they're going to block you. Um, yeah. They want to make you look crazy. Okay. Often they want to make you look crazy. So they will block you and they will say things like, you see, that person's stalking me. I had to block them. If you don't know who I am, I am Lise Gallucci, one of the life coaches at queening.com. And if you need information, you can check it out in the main description of every video. Lots of info over at queenbeing.com for recovering from anything related to narcissism.